started regarding this what is an operating system in system you have three layers okay. so you take a system like why we need a computer to do some task to do some task use applications right i want to send a mail i need an application okay i want to web browser i need a application i want a word process so i want to prepare a document I need an application to run these applications work with this application to run this application to work with this application so in a, either way we need a interface we need a interface okay wow. okay so once just a minute Okay. Of course, computer means you have a CPU, RAM, hard disk. So we have a hardware components. Have your hardware components, and you have an uh, applications. So you have to run this thing on your hardware. And this thing on your hardware, right? Okay, but you don't know how to program your hardware directly. Okay, you don't learn this hardware languages. So we need a something in between your interface to your hardware means that is a for operating system. For operating system. So this is a hardware. This is user. In between, there is an operating system to work with your computer to get an interface to run applications to provide user environment. This is operating system. You go through this one. Operating system is a software. Which act as an interface between end user and computer hardware. Operating system is a software which act as a interface between end user and computer hardware. Every computer must have at least one OS to run other programs. Application like a Chrome, MS Word, games, etc. needed some applications. In which it will run and perform its task. Okay, OS help you to communicate with the computer no, uh, without knowing how to speak the computer language. Okay, application like a Chrome, MS Word, games, etc. Need some, etc. Some environment in which you can run and perform this task. It means, as I said, like a applications you have to run, you need an operating system. Voice help you to communicate with the computer without knowing how to speak computer. You don't know how to program. In olden days, you want to run A plus B. Also, they have to write a, a program. You know. Assembly languages are there, no? for example, microcontroller, microprocessor. You have to program your computer. You have to first write instructions. Okay, you have to write direct instruction to the computer to do the task. Now we are not writing. Any person can able to use a computer because of operating system. Okay, I'm using this computer because there is an operating system. I cannot write the program code to do certain tasks, right? So that is a one. It is not possible for a user 
use any computer or a mobile device without having a operating system. Without having a operating system. The okay, next. Let's understand what is an operating system. Okay. So look at here. Operating system architecture. Normally, you want to learn Unix or learn Linux learning. People will give you this diagram. But if you want to learn Windows, it, people don't give you this diagram. So why? Why? Because of we cannot manage kernel or a shell kind of stuff in Windows operating system. We cannot manage means you cannot manipulate or cannot create or manage those kind of stuff directly. You can't program it. Whatsoever it is, guys, whether it is a Windows operating system or a Linux or a Unix operating system, your operating system mainly two parts. One is a kernel, another one is a shell. Your operating system kernel interacts with your hardware. Understand hardware languages, understand uh, hardware components. Sometimes operating system cannot understand particular hardware component. For example, you connect a printer, maybe audio chip, maybe a video graphics card, okay, a network connection. So your operating system not does not understand what is that hardware component. What to do? You have to install the drivers. So the drivers, device drivers, also part of kernel only. This also a program. Help your operating system to understand the particular hardware component. Okay. So this is about your kernel. Kernel interacts with your hardware. Okay. So the Okay, it works with your hardware. Hardware management, disk management, process management, network management, memory management are a primary duties of your kernel. Next one is shell. Operating system, two parts mainly. What is interacting with hardware means kernel. Interact with user and provide a user interface. It is your shell. <coughs> shell interact with user. Provide user application. Run applications. Provide a user interface. Run applications. Linux, Unix. Okay, so this is a Linux and Unix. Use a shell environment called a bash shell. B A S H. Born again shell. But different shells also available. Yes, user interfaces are basically two. CLI, GUI. Command line interface means you can work with your computer. You tell what to do. You run applications. All the work you done on the command prompt. That is called a command line interface. GUI, graphical user interface. It is. You can see uh, things, and you can able to do with it. Like this is a folder I want to do it, or, or maybe this is the file I want to delete it. I, this is the file I want to copy it. This is an application I can open it. Okay. So like this, by Windows you can able to see things what it is. I closed it. The point is, it is a 
graphical okay that is a graphical user interface understand pli and gui next one is text based or terminal based user interface of course I, I will show you tui screen nm tui so i want to manage network you know in unix or linux cannot use the graphical kind of stuff it is a more like a cli in cli you want a easy way of doing like it's a, an on text only you can able to get these boxes to work with it okay so this is a tui interface this is ready. Okay. Yeah, it is improved. Very good. Not the shape or everything is there, but how to close it? So not able to do anything. Why it is? This should work. What happened to this? That is here. Sorry. Okay, we'll we'll try that one later. No, not now. Okay, guys, this is OS architecture, kernel, shell, user interfaces. Okay. The next one is simple operating system network operating systems the operating systems are different types in different ways basically simple operating system network operating system okay simple operating system is a desktop OS and the network operating system is like a server OS desktop operating systems Anything you can take Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 10, 
Kubuntu desktop model. Okay, so new model is also coming. Okay. From Linux only, Linux Mint, Ubuntu new series also coming. Okay, so for a desktop purpose. Mainly desktop operating system, or does a user desktop operating system? You can run some applications, you can play games, web browsing, media, multimedia, audio, video, including everything you can able to do it. Purpose is it is a end user device. It is for a user purpose only. You don't provide any service to anyone. You are using a service that is called a client. So you can become a client to a server. Okay, like this. That is a desktop operating system. Simple operating system or desktop operating system. Next one is Net NYS, network operating system. Network operating system. Server operating system. Network operating system is a example is server type of operating system. It provides services through network. Example Windows servers, Linux servers, Unix server operating systems. You know, server operating systems provide different type of services by installing some applications in it or by enabling certain features inside kind of stuff. It's a built-in server features like a DHCP server, DNS server, VPN server, web server, file server, mail server, authentication server, ADDS server, proxy server, remote desktop server, deployment server. And the database server. Okay, this is about a simple system and network operating system, desktop OS and uh, network OS. Yeah. User and the task type of OS. User and uh, Task wise type of voices single user, single task means only one user at a time. Above. Single user, single task, only one user, only one task you can able to run. Multi user, multi task. So single user, single task, multi user, multi task. Single user, single task, multi user, multi task. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm distracted uh, by that. Drilling machine. Uh, th these guys are not leaving today. So last bar. Are not even much very bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Drilling, drilling. I'm sorry. 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 Sorry, 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 sorry. Is that drilling guy is irritating me more? <laughs> okay. okay. I will tell you a few two, three points and then we can wind up today. Okay. So and uh, the morning I think so you have a version test. Okay, so prepare well. And afternoon, people who are not having version test can join in. Version test completed, guys. Please join into the session. Or uh, you can ask, sir, for uh, any mock interviews. Okay. Single user, multitask is like a, our Windows desktop, Windows server machines. Okay. So Windows desktop, Windows server operating systems. Okay, multi task, multi user, multi task. This is Linux in Unix, you know, one system, multiple users can able to log in. One system, multiple users, either directly, they can log in, multi user, multi task. 
multiple users can log into same server directly or remotely also remotely also multiple users can able to log in can run multiple applications at a time okay the last one is guys mobile operating systems nowadays we are having a mobile phones different mobile phones not only nowadays earlier days also we have mobile phones different type of operating systems to interact with your mobile phone generally we have android is a more popular one android ios in a olden days we have a blackberry os blackberry os so almost like a, a very big very highlighted uh, operating system but a huge huge profitable operating system that time blackberry phone blackberry os and symbion nokia used symbion os tizen samsung of course Microsoft of mobile operating system used by different organizations. Initially, HTC, AT&T, and uh, of course, last is Nokia. After that one, forget about it. Okay, so real-time operating systems. So in generally, we are all using a Windows operating system. It is. Commercial entity means ready to use type operating system for any or uh, different varieties of work means with different variety of machines, different variety of running applications. But real time applications are used by only when specific hardware's specifically designed operating system for that hardware only. Not used for any others by others only specific like satellites, satellites, railway systems. These are specifically designed for that particular. Of course, I want to tell about Windows and Linux differences. Yeah, you can read it, guys. Okay. Okay, guys, that's it for today. So, tomorrow we'll see remaining things.